Hello, hello, is Sister Howard used to be here? I'm a detective. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you're about to hear is true. I'm a detective. Romowitz, Joe, just the facts, ma'am. Yes, I'm Sister Howard used to be. I didn't see anything, but I know what happened. There was a leader, Darius, who appointed 120 satraps, let's say governors, and they were accountable to three ministers. Daniel was one of the three. Daniel shined bright because the Spirit of God was in him. Daniel was doing such a good job, some of the other governors became jealous of him. They made a plot against Daniel and contrived it so that the leader had to throw Daniel in the den of lions. I think maybe something like this is going on in our state of affairs right now. I don't really know. Let's go over it again, just the facts, ma'am. I'm gonna have to do some further investigation. Anyway, the leader was troubled by this because he didn't want to force Daniel into the lion's den, but he did. Darius was up and out very early the next morning. He ran to the lion's den. Daniel, Daniel, he shouted. And yes, there he was alive and well. Daniel said, my God sent his angels who closed the lion's mouths, all of them, so that they did not hurt me. Darius sent those conniving governors that designed the plot along with their children and wives right into the lion's den. The lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Bottom line, don't be plotting against people. Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel chapter 6 verses 1 through 29. Well, we're done for today. I'm leaving.